Check out FlipSideGaming.com for all your gaming needs. Use the promo code HEROES to save 10% on orders over $10. From August 18th, 2020 through September 25th, 2020, if you use this promo code, you will automatically be entered into a drawing to win a Zendikar Rising Set Booster Box. Also, there is another way to enter where no purchase is necessary. See the link in the description below for full details. Hey there, this is John from Heroes and Legends, and welcome to another edition of the Magic the Gathering Market Watch, and it is Zendikar Rising pre-release weekend, which sadly used to mean more to a lot of us than it does right now. So many of us still can't go out to the game store and play with the new cards. You can play online, of course, but it's just not the same. I used to love going out to the store, playing with friends, seeing cards for the first time. But one tradition that will continue through all this is, of course, the weekend episodes of the Market Watch, and we do have a lot to talk about. Zendikar Rising is pushing the price points of some cards across the secondary market, and there's a whole lot of other things going on too. We'll get into all the details. Quickly though, before we do get started, just a fast reminder, if you go to FlipSideGaming.com, you can use that Heroes promo code to save 10% on orders over $10. Currently, you can pre-order Commander Legends there. They have the Draft Booster Boxes as well as the Collector Booster Boxes. After you use the promo code, the draft booster boxes come to $121.50 and the collector ones to $220.95, and that does include shipping in the United States. I thought that was a pretty good deal. I just wanted to pass that along to you. And remember, whenever you use that promo code, it does support the channel, which is always appreciated. So without any further ado, let's get into it. We're going to begin, as we always do with standard, and this is a special standard section this week. We're saying farewell to a lot of cards that we will no longer see in this section in the future. And we're going to begin with the top 10 standard legal cards that have lost value this week. Number 10 is not going anywhere yet. It is the Great Henge, but it is going down in value, 48 cents to 27.52. This past season, we saw this in Mono Green Stompy, and I'm sure next season those type of decks will carry on. And I have seen this in some early deck lists for some other builds as well. In Pioneer, this is in Mono Green Planeswalkers, and it's also seeing a ton of commander play currently. Number 9 is Vivian Monster's Advocate, another card not rotating out. It goes down 50 cents to 813, and this hasn't really seen much standard play, but I have seen it again in a few early lists, so keep an eye on this one. We'll have to see what happens with it. It does see some commander play in various builds, though. Number 8 is Arcane Signet, down 54 cents to $5. This is from Throne of Eldraine, but it was reprinted recently in Commander 2020, and also you're going to find these in the Zendikar Rising Commander decks, too. So with the extra copies coming out, this one is softening up a little bit. Remember, even back when this came out in Throne of Eldraine, it was not in the draft booster packs. You could get it in the Brawl decks, though, but there was a huge demand for this card. Still is. I mean, you see this in, like, every commander deck nowadays, but the extra copies have mitigated that a little bit. Number 7 is a card rotating out. Vampire of the Dire Moon, down 60 cents to 249. Another card, though, that hasn't seen a whole lot of standard play. In Commander, however, this is in Edgar Markov, Vito Thorn of the Dusk Rose, and many other builds. Number 6, Leyline of the Void from Guild Pack. This was reprinted in Corset 2020, so it is rotating out as well. It goes down 63 cents this week to 14.49. And this is yet another card that didn't see a ton of standard play. Doesn't see a ton of Pioneer play either, but this is a huge card in Modern Legacy and Vintage. Sees a little Commander play too. Number 5 is Blood Crypt from Dissension. So long, Shocklands, you're no longer going to be in the standard section. This one goes down 64 cents this week to 25.34. And even though you won't see these in the standard section, don't worry, they're still going to see a ton of play in Pioneer, Modern, and Commander. Number 4 is Outlaw's Merriment. This goes down 75 cents to 3.12. This card has had some spikes recently, so it is retracting a little bit this week. And the reason it got hot was Zendikar Rising. We found out that there was a party mechanic. There are cards in the set that will reward you for having a cleric, warrior, rogue, and or wizard in play. And beyond that, the Orzov colors also have a cleric tribal theme. An example of a card that pushes that theme is Aura Skyclave Hierophant. Number three is Massacre Worm from Merit and Besiege. This was reprinted in Corset 2021. It goes down 89 cents to 905, and it does see commander play and builds like Yurok the Desecrated and much more. Number two is another Shockland Breeding Pool from Ravnica Allegiance. This one's going down 91 cents this week to 2206. Number one, we have Grim Tutor, the original from Starter 1999, going down $1.18 to $175. And like all tutors, this will see plenty of commander play. It has seen increased play recently in Vito Thorn of the Dusk Grows and Tiny Bones Trinket Thief builds. 
That brings us to the top five standard legal cards that have gained value this week. Number five is Brazen Borrower, up 76 cents to 15.35. And this one's kind of interesting because it is getting reprinted in that curated list of cards that could show up in Zendikar Rising set boosters. As a matter of fact, the version of the card that they are reprinting there is the showcase copy of it. But regardless, this is still going up in value. Why is that? Well, it's already seen a ton of standard play and it's already showing up on a number of deck lists for next season. Ramp builds, control builds, and much more are going to try to run this card. It also shows up in a lot of decks outside of standards. You'll see this card in Pioneer, Modern, Legacy, Vintage, and Commander. Number four is Soren Imperious Bloodlord. It goes up 77 cents to 1366. This card is rotating out, but still going up in value. And that's because it's a good card in other formats. In Pioneer, you'll find this in Mono Black Vampires, Commander, Edgar Markov, Vito Thorne of the Dusk Grows, and more there. Also, too, there's a new Baron Sengir coming in Commander Legends, which we're going to see later in the video. And Zendikar Rising is bringing us some vampires. Here's an example, Drawn of the Last Blood Chief. Number three, another card rotating out but going up. It is Smothering Tithe, up 83 cents to 17.95. So this never really saw a ton of standard play either, but it is fantastic in Commander. You'll find this in many decks in that format. Number two, having a bounce back week, Uro Titan of Nature's Wrath, up 227 to 47.96. And the reason this is getting hot again is because we're starting to see those early deck lists circulating around. And guess what? There's a lot of decks that are running this. Omnith Landfall, Simic Mutate, Ramp Builds, and more. Also, too, this continues to see play in Pioneer, Modern, Legacy, and Commander. And number one is Elder Gargaroth. This card has been super hot. Huge jump for a standard card up 691 to 1979 this week. And again, you have a card that performed well in standard last season, and it's already showing up in a lot of deck lists for next season. Things like Adventure Decks, Mono Green Ramp, and you know this is going to be in the sideboard of a lot of decks potentially, depending on where the meta goes. Also, this sees a good amount of play in Pioneer, Modern, and Commander. Speaking of Pioneer, that takes us to the top seven Pioneer legal cards that have lost value this week. Number seven is Cyclonic Rift from Modern Masters 2017. It goes down 97 cents to 24.97. And this does see a little play in Pioneer, sometimes in Wilderness Reclamation. It does get a little modern play in Mono Blue Tron, too. But you know this is a huge Commander card played in many builds there. But it did get recently reprinted in Double Masters, which is why copies of this card have been soft. Number six is Archangel of Thune from Magic 2014. It goes down to $1.03 to seventeen ninety seven. This sees a lot of Commander play. You're going to find this in Angel builds, Life Gain builds. And remember, Kali of the Vast was recently reprinted in Double Masters. Oloro, Ageless Ascetic, is going to be reprinted on the curated list. But this card is losing value. Why is that? Well, simply because it was reprinted in Double Masters. Number five, Resplendent Angel, down $1.09 to $13.95. This card has been going up in value recently, so you're just seeing some normalization this week. This is a solid commander card in a lot of different builds, including Lyra Dawnbringer, Oloro, Ageless Ascetic again, Heliot Sun Crowned, and more. Number four, Crucible of Worlds, the one from Magic 2019. It goes down $1.78 to thirty five seventy four, And this one's interesting because two more copies of this card are going up in value. You're going to see them a little bit later. But this one has the most copies in circulation, and it is maybe the first to stabilize after some increases that occurred recently. So generally, why are these cards going up in value? Of course, it's because of Zendikar Rising. There is a huge land focus in that set, a lot of landfall cards, cards that are going to support landfall. There's even a commander deck called Land's Wrath that has a landfall element to it too. A lot of players have simply been speculating that this card gets better with all these new cards, and it's most likely true. Now currently, it has been seeing less play than maybe it was seeing a few months ago if you look at Pioneer, Legacy, and Vintage, but it is a highly played commander card in a lot of lands builds and more, and it also got a Command Zone podcast mentioned this week too. Number three, Ulamog, the Ceaseless Hunger, another card that's been hot recently, retracting a little bit. It goes down $1.81 to $51.15, and this is in Mono Green Planeswalkers and more in the format. Modern, you'll find this in Tron, Legacy, Cloud Post Builds, Commander, this is in Kozilek, the Great Distortion, and much more there. Number two is Thoughtseize from Lorwyn, the original. It goes down $2.56 to $30.43, sees a ton of play in Pioneer, Modern, Legacy, and Vintage, even sees some Commander play nowadays. But again, the reason it's going down in value is because it was reprinted in Double Masters. Number one, Urborg Tomb of Yawgmoth, the original from Planar Chaos. It goes down 339 to 3339, and this card has been jumping back and forth quite a bit. 
Overall, it feels like these cards are going up in value, but it has been a roller coaster ride. It does see play in Pioneer decks like Mono Black Aggro, Rakdos Pyromancer, and more. Also shows up in some decks in Modern Legacy and Vintage, plus it is a highly played commander card in a lot of different builds. And that brings us to the top 9 Pioneer legal cards that have gained value this week, and you're going to notice from this point forward in the video, the key driver yet again for cards going up in value happens to be Commander. Number 9, Lord of the Void, up 52 cents to 10.98, solid Commander card in a lot of different places, including Kali of the Vast decks. Number 8, Escape Shift from Magic 2019, it goes up 52 cents to 14.66. You'll find this in modern Escape Shift builds, of course, but it sees a lot of Commander play too. This already currently shows up in a lot of land-centric builds, but you know that's going to be pushed by the cards in Zendikar Rising. I've already seen Commander Omnith Locus of Creation decklist running Scape Shift. And also, too, remember there's that Land's Wrath Commander deck that's coming out with Zendikar Rising 2. The commander of that deck is a Boon Muldaya Ancestor, but Scape Shift could be a nice upgrade there. Number 7 is Master of Cruelties. This is the copy from the Ravnica Legion's Rakdos Guild Kit, though. It goes up 54 cents to 8.42. Many times you'll find this in Kali of the Vast builds and much more. Number 6, Emrakul, The Promised End. This goes up 98 cents to 39.95. This is another card that's been bouncing back and forth a little bit, trying to find its price point. It does see playing Pioneer, though. Salt Eye Delirium, and also many times in Mono Green Planeswalkers. In Modern, it's in Tron, and also a card that you'll find in Commander in those Kozilek the Great Distortion decks, and more. Number 5, Lilian of the Dark Realms, the copy from Magic 2014. It goes up $1.01 to $20.88. Notice the plus one does let you search for a swamp and put it in your hand, so that's pretty interesting, right? Could tie into some landfall shenanigans, but this card does see a lot of play right now in Commander. You'll find this in a lot of builds, like Vito Thorn of the Dusk Rose, Tiny Bones Trinket Thief, Yawgmoth Thran Physician, and Scytherix the Blight Dragon, just to name a few. Remember, Scytherix was reprinted in Double Masters and is also going to be on the curated list in Zendikar Rising. Number 4, Liliana Heretical Healer. This goes up $1.05 to $18. It's a fairly popular commander and it does see play in other builds, including the Scarab God, which was reprinted in Double Masters as well. Number 3, Anointed Procession. Up $1.17 to $27.54, another highly played commander card. And this one is seeing more play now in builds like Alila Artful Provocateur and Rin and Siri Inseparable. Number two, Rakdos Lord of Riots up two ten to six dollars and six cents. But this is the copy from the Ravnica Legion's Rakdos Guild Kit, and this particular copy only comes in foil. This is another popular commander, but sees play in the ninety nine of other decks too, including Kali of the Vast. And at number one, you will find the other copies of Crucible of Worlds I mentioned earlier. Tenth edition goes up four fifty eight to forty one sixty. Fifth dawn up five twenty seven to forty eight sixty seven. Welcome to the world of modern and your top 5 modern legal cards that have lost value this week. Number 5, Avacyn Angel of Hope from Iconic Masters, down 318 to 3417, very popular commander, also found in the 99 of builds like Kali of the Vast. So why is this particular card going down? Again, it was reprinted in Double Masters. Number 4, Cavern of Souls from Modern Masters 2017, it goes down 319 to 7674, sees a lot of play in the modern format. Amulet Titan Human, Slosny of Elkut, Eldrazi Tron, and more. Also sees Legacy play, and it's a highly played Commander card. Now, this was not reprinted in Double Masters, but this is one of the Zendikar Rising Expedition box toppers. Number 3 is a Borrow Palace in the Clouds. It goes down 330 this week, finally, after some aggressive spikes down to 5598. And this card started going up in value ever since we began to see those Zendikar Rising previews, and we saw how much landfall was in the set how much support there was for Landfall. And of course, this card is fantastic in those type of builds because it supports that mechanic very well. Now, I'm not too surprised to see Retraction occurring this week because it was going up so aggressively. And typically when that happens with a card like this, people start to look at their collections and notice, hey, wait a minute, I have copies of this card I'm not using. Sometimes stores will go into their inventory and realize they have copies that they never bothered to put up for sale online. All of a sudden, there's a lot of new copies in the marketplace, and the card does start to cool off a little bit. It's not going to go back down to where it was, but maybe it will start to stabilize and find a new price point. Number two, Sword of Fire and Ice from Darksteel. It goes down 358 to 6377. This was reprinted in Double Masters, which is why it is soft. It does see some modern and legacy play with Stoneforge Mystic, and it sees a fair amount of commander play as well. Many times you'll find this in Sir Gwyn, Hero of Ashvale, and many other places. 
Number one is Cloud Key from Future Sight. This goes back down after a pretty big spike last week, down 431 to 2276. In Commander, you'll see this in Elsha of the Infinite and many other builds there. That takes us to the top five modern legal cards that have gained value this week. Number five is Recross the Paths. It goes up 423 to 463. It's a Morning Tide card, so I'll use my one per video. Yep, during this time period of Magic, there was a recession in the game, less packs were cracked. So, sometimes these cards tend to get a little spiky if they were never reprinted anywhere else. Usually that happens with the rares, but it can happen with some uncommons as well, like this one. So, this does see a little commander play, but that's not why it's going up in value. The reason, of course, is because of Zendikar Rising. Turns out, this is good in Charbelcher builds when you use the new Zendikar Rising double-sided lands where you have a land on one side and a spell on the other. And those legacy Charbelcher players are trying to pick this up. Also, there's a modern Charbelcher build that's circulating around out there. We'll have to see if that catches on. Number four is Kozilek Butcher of Truth. Ultimate Masters goes up 321 to 57.19. Rise of the Eldrazi up 441 to $60.26. And this is also in those Kozilek the Great Distortion builds in Commander. Number three, Season Pyromancer. Another card that sees modern play. It goes up 493 to 3295. This is in Grill Midrange, Jund, Mono Red Aggro, and more. Also, it has seen some increased commander play in Winona Joiner Forces, Zeras the Writhing Storm, and more. Number two is another card for Morning Tide. It is Knowledge Exploitation, going up 576 this week to 1499. This currently does see commander play, but it is a good upgrade to the Sneak Attack Commander deck from Zendikar Rising. Here's the commander from that deck, Anawan the Rune Thief. Number one is Flagstones of Trocare. Ultimate Masters goes up 1423 to 1845. Time Spiral of 1525 to 1999. So you look at this card and you think, okay, Zendikar Rising, Landfall, we get it by now. This is good because of the Landfall support in that set. And that could partially be true, but there's something else going on here. The main reason this is moving up this much right now is because it is performing well in a Titan Vile Modern deck. That deck has put up some 5-0s and Modern Challenges on Magic the Gathering Online. All right, welcome to the Vintage Spotlight, and this is where we look at cards that are important to collectors, also cards that see play in Legacy Vintage 93-94. Buyouts are continuing, at least to some degree, although they don't seem as prevalent as they were over the last couple weeks. In this section, I'll only tell you if a card is not on the reserve list, because it is easier that way. Here's our first revised dual land of the week. It is Volcanic Island. It's not going up that much, but the reason I included it was to show you that some of these are starting to stabilize finally. Some have even lost value this week. This one goes up 435 to 596.74. Mana Vault, not on the reserve list. This is the copy from Ultimate Masters going up 518 to 79.94. This sees vintage play and a lot of commander play in various builds. Fast Bond goes up 1020 to 84.97. This is the copy from Unlimited. It did get one more printing and revised. For a while, this was getting some vintage play. I'm not really seeing it much in the format anymore. It is banned in Commander as well, so it doesn't see play there. It is good with new landfall cards, though, maybe in a cube, perhaps. Verdurin Enchantress from Unlimited, not on the reserve list. There's a lot of cheap copies of this if you want one. But this copy goes up 1095 this week to 7550. Second week in the row it's been on here. Livonia Salone goes up 1180 to $99. There continues to be a big focus on these gold legends from Legends. This one also happens to be a human warrior. Here's another one, Ramsey's Overdark. It goes up $11.96 to $80.49. Fork from Unlimited. This goes up $12.33 to $137.49. This did get reprinted one more time and revised. And it has seen some increased commander play recently in Calamax the Stormsire builds. Also, it did get a Command Zone podcast mention this week. Savannah from Revised up $12.69 this week to $259.99. Badlands from Revised up 1308 to 35889. Reverberation up 2056 to 3745. Balance from Unlimited, not on the reserve list, but it is banned in Commander. It goes up 2218 to 5999. Disharmony up 2521 to 6910. If Biff Afreet, this goes up 2828 to 15994. Tundra from Revised up 2895 to 469. Half Dane jumps up 3631 to 6250. Copy Artifact from Unlimited did get one more printing in Revise. This goes up $37.20 to $399.99 this week. And again, I checked on this price, and it does appear that people are paying this as an average price. I saw some copies go higher. I saw some go a lot lower, though, too. So if you are looking to pick this up, shop around a little bit. 
Bad Moon from Unlimited, not on the reserve list. It goes up $0.38 cents to $79.99. Now we're starting to get into buyout territory. Ice Storm from Unlimited, not on the reserve list. It goes up $41.04 to $74.99. Erdrago, this happens to be an elemental. It goes up $45.88 to $54.95 this week. Hellfire, up $51.64 to $139.50. Firestorm Phoenix, up $51.89 to $80. I looked this one up to see what people are actually paying for it, and this does feel like maybe a high average price. I did see copies selling between $25 and $87. Ragnar goes up $92.17 to $137.50, or does it? This one, I could not find anybody paying anything close to that. Now, this is a human cleric, which could bring some attention to it, but the highest sales I've seen were $35 to $46. Aiden Oakenshield, kind of the same story here. It goes up 92.82 to 147.77. Highest sales I've seen are 40 to 55 dollars. Goes to Dirk up 141.78 to 230, or is it? This is a human warrior, but again, the highest sales are 30 to 100 dollars. There is a wide range though. Library of Alexandria, percentage-wise, this isn't really a big jump. It goes up 143.19 to 1,644 dollars and 36 cents. And that does feel about right for a high grade copy. Word of Command from Unlimited, this jumped up 288.07 to 450. When it comes to actual sales though, high grade copies are going between 225 and 325. And finally, the ridiculous market manipulation of the week goes to Mishra's workshop. This goes up $2,480 to $5,099.50, or does it? Well, high-grade copies are selling for between $1,500 and $1,900. It's still a lot of money, but it's not $5,000. Imagine all the Commander cards you could buy with $5,000. But anyway, welcome to the Commander Spotlight. Let's see what's happening here. Entomb from Eternal Masters, up $1 to $1,699. This is in Legacy, Reanimator, and more. Popular Commander card, too, and did get a Command Zone podcast mention this week. Nostalgic Dreams, good card in Commander if you're trying to juggle lands, and I do think that's what people are looking at right now when it comes to building some of these decks with the new cards. Not only can you just play lands for landfall, but maybe you can get some lands in your graveyard. If you have something like Crucible of Worlds, you can play them from there. So, a card like this goes up $1.02 to three ninety seven dollars this week. Birds of Paradise, the one from 7th edition, goes up $1.02 to fourteen oh five. This was recently reprinted in a secret layer, Ornithological Studies. Now, this is a highly played Commander card, also sees play in Modern Devoted Devastation and more there. And on top of that, you're going to find this in Legacy and Vintage too. Burgeoning from Commander 2016, up at LRO 5 to 1985, another card moving because of the Zendikar Rising Landfall support. This would be a good upgrade in the Lands Wrath Commander deck, and it's also showing up in a lot of those Omnith Locus of Creation deck lists already. Currently, this does see play in Commander builds like Techiova, Benthic Druid, Lord Windgrace, and much more. Winter Orb, this is the one from 5th edition, up at LRO 6 to 895. Sees a lot of Commander play in different builds, including Urza Lord High Artificer. See some Legacy play too. Greater Oromancy, this goes up at dollar ten to 42.99. Good in Enchantment Heavy builds. Also has seen more play recently in Sese Weather like Captain decks, which run those Corset 2021 Shrines. Squandered Resources on the reserve list, it goes up at dollar eleven to 31.49. This is currently in builds like the Gitrog Monster, Lord Windgrace, Corvold Fakers, King, and more. And here's another card that is going to be more sought after if you want to juggle lands again with some of your new Zendikar Rising cards. Sylvan Tutor from Portal creeps up a little more this week, up $1.12 to $84.99. And this is getting harder and harder to find all the time in good condition. And of course, tutors are always going to see a lot of Commander play. Field of the Dead. This got banned in Standard during its time. It's banned in Pioneer. It does see Modern and Legacy play, though. It goes up $1.19 to $16.39, and of course, because it's in this section, it sees Commander play as well. This is another card being pushed by the Zendikar Rising Landfall support, but this also shows up in that Titan Vile Modern deck we talked about earlier. Additionally, this got a Command Zone podcast mentioned too. Dance of Many from the Dark goes up $1.23 to four seventy. This sees a little bit of Commander play in different places. One deck where it will show up sometimes is Brutoclad Telcor Engineer, and that did get reprinted in Double Masters. Cover of Darkness goes up $1.23 to $14.99. This one's good in Yuriko the Tiger Shadow Builds, and that got reprinted recently in Mystery Boosters. This shows up in other decks too. Goblin Sharpshooter, the copy from the Explosion Sound Secret Layer goes up $1.21 to $16.15. The one from Commander 2013 goes up $1.34 to $11.34. Many times you'll find this in Krenko Mob Boss Builds, and that got reprinted in Jumpstart. This is also in builds like Mux's Goblin Grandy, for example, another Jumpstart card. 
And sometimes this is in Legacy Goblins too. Mana Web. This goes up $1.36 to $24.99. This is on the reserve list and does see a little commander play. Sword of Truth and Justice up $1.37 to $21.80. Many times you'll find this one in Attracts the Praetor's Voice or Scytherix the Blight Dragon builds. Both of those recently reprinted. Also, there are a lot of cards in Zendikar Rising that add plus one plus one counters or reward you for having plus one plus one counters on your creatures. One example of that is the Land's Wrath Commander we saw earlier, Obun, Moldaya, Ancestor. Flooded Shoreline on the reserve list currently sees a little commander play, but again, being pushed by the Zendikar Rising Land Matters theme, it goes up $1.40 to $3.50. Lord of Tressorhorn, this is on the reserve list and sometimes sees play as a commander. It goes up $1.44 to $4.74. Metalworker on the reserve list, and this is in commander builds like Urzalar High Artificer, Kozilek the Great Distortion, and Joyra Weatherlight Captain, which was reprinted in Double Masters, plus others. It goes up $1.46 to $153.29. Wrath of God from Portal. This is drying up a little bit online this week, going up $1.47 to $12.23. It's a fantastic board sweep and commander for white. But it's kind of interesting because it just got reprinted in Double Masters. And this is the version of the card that you're going to see reprinted in the curated list for cards that could show up in Zendikar Rising set boosters. Regardless, though, it's still going up. Karn Silver Golem from Urza Saga. This is on the reserve list, but it did get reprinted twice in foil before they closed that loophole. You could find an arena foil promo of this. Also, it was in From the Vault Relics as a foil. It goes up $1.50 to nineteen ninety nine. Sometimes you do see this as a commander, other times it is part of the 99 in some builds. It also did get a Talarian Community College mention this week. Mana Crypt from Double Masters, Fantastic Vintage, and Commander Card. The Double Masters copy is just trying to find its price point this week, going up $1.52 to $101.95. Rotlung Reanimator. This was seeing a little play in the format already, but now it's moving up because of those cleric tribal elements in Zendikar Rising. I'm already seeing players putting this in their early builds of Aura, Skyclave, Hierophant. This goes up $1.65 to $4.50. Natural Order from Eternal Masters. You'll find this in builds like Salvala, Heart of the Wilds. Also, it's in Legacy Elves and more. It goes up $1.65 to $31.29. Or a Thief. This is actually not on the reserve list, and it is drying up in the marketplace this week. Sees a fair amount of play here and there in Commander. It goes up $1.66 to $8.49. Grand Arbiter Augustine IV. This is the one for Modern Masters. It goes up $1.71 to $24.99. Very popular Commander. Sometimes, too, you'll find this in Bruvac the Grand Eloquent decks with Persistent Petitioners. Not only is it just generally a good card there, but it is also an advisor. Crater Hoof Behemoth. This goes up $1.72 to $41.46, but this is the Jumpstart copy trying to find its price point. In Legacy, you'll find this in Elves Builds and Commander. It's in a lot of decks, including Kin and Bonder Prodigy. Cleansing from the Dark up $1.86 to $9.51. This is on the reserve list, and it is another card that can help you get your lands in your graveyard if you need to. Muxus Goblin Grandy from Jumpstart goes up $1.86 to $34.75, another card from that set. And this is a popular commander, also showing up in Kranko Mob Boss builds and others. Additionally, sometimes you'll see this in Legacy Goblins. Doubling Season from Double Masters, again trying to find its price point. It goes up $1.86 to $45.79. And this is a highly played commander card in Atraxa and many other builds. Also got a Talarian Community College mention this week. Colony Hydra from Rise of the Eldrazi, another card that made the list. You might see it in your Zendikar Rising set boosters. It goes up 217 to 1938, and this does see Commander play and Gargo's Vicious Watcher builds and more. Freyalis Lanoir's Fury from Commander 2014. It goes up 233 to 1633, and this is getting a reprint in Commander Collection Green, but this copy is still going up. Fairly popular Commander and sees play in a lot of other builds too. Tithe on the reserve list. It goes up 235 to 3398. And of course, this is going to play really well with landfall. And that's why it is so hot right now. Helps keep your hand stocked for those landfall triggers. Balfire Dragon from Ultimate Masters. You'll find this in recently reprinted Kali of the Vast decks, the Ur Dragon that was also reprinted not too long ago and other places. This goes up 237 this week to 2279. Sulphurous Springs from 9th edition. These ally pain lands have been pretty hot recently. Basically, they only see play in Commander. This one goes up 243 this week to 1087. Branching Evolution, another jumpstart card here. It goes up 243 to 2675. Currently in builds like Zixara the Exemplary and Attracts the Praetor's Voice as well as others. But again, you have a card here that will play well with some of the new Zendikar Rising cards. Actually, it could be a good upgrade to the Land's Wrath Commander deck too. 
Another card on the reserve list that could help you get some of your lands in the graveyard, it is Mana Vortex. It goes up 256 to 2286. Braid of Fire from Cold Snap. It goes up 259 to 2520. This did get reprinted as a foil in WPN Mystery Boosters. The reason the card has been hot, though, is because of this Zendikar Rising preview, and that is Leyline Tyrant. Consecrated Sphinx from Mirrored and Besieged. This isn't a whole lot of builds in Commander, including the Locust God, which just got reprinted in Commander 2020. This goes up 262 to 3367. Bitter Blossom. Couple copies here. Ultimate Masters up $1.03 to 3463. Bitter Blossom Dream Secret Layer copy goes up 272 to 4237. In Commander, currently you'll find this in Alila Artful Provocateur and many other builds. This is also a good upgrade to the Sneak Attack Zendikar Rising Commander deck. And it did get a Command Zone mention this week too. Speaking of Sneak Attack, the original copy of Sneak Attack from Urza Saga goes up 279 to 3217. Now this did get reprinted in Double Masters, but regardless, this copy is still going up. Many times you'll find this in Commander Kali of the Vast builds and much more. In Legacy, of course, it's in Sneak and Show. Mary's Guile from Tempest of 286 to 2799. Many times you'll find this one in the Karametra God of Harvest builds, and that was reprinted recently in one of the Theros Stargazing Secret Layers. This is in other places in the format too, and shows up in Legacy Rector Fit decks as well. Herald of Sarah, this is a reserve list angel. Doesn't see a whole lot of play though. It goes up 291 to 793 this week. Ulamog the Infinite Gyre from Rise of the Eldrazi, another card you might find in Kozilek the Great Distortion builds and more. It goes up 291 to 4610. Staff of Domination from Fifth Dawn, highly played commander card, great when you have extra mana and nothing to do with it. It's also a good combo enabler. It goes up 295 to 6107. Lifeline, this one's on the reserve list. It is drying up this week. It does see play in various decks. It goes up 339 to 2482. Phyrexian Altar from Invasion. It goes up 340 this week to 4554. Very popular card. It's in builds like Corvold Faker's King and many others. Bribery from Mercadian Masks. It goes up 349 this week to 2997. This sees play in Send Triplets builds and others in the format, but remember Send Triplets to get a reprint in Double Masters as well as a foil reprint in WPN Mystery Boosters. Sliver Legion up 378 to $111 from Future Sight. And Sliver decks have been popular in Commander ever since the reprinting of Sliver Overlord and Sliver Hive Lord. Pact of Negation from Future Sight goes up 383 to 3839, and this sees a lot of Commander play, especially in competitive builds. Also, you know it sees modern play in Ad Nauseum, Amulet Titan, and more. But what's interesting about this card is it is getting reprinted on the list, even though it is going up in value today. So you might find it in your Zendikar Rising set booster packs. Argothian Enchantress, this is another card that is good in enchantment heavy builds and has been seeing more play in those Sissé weather like Captain decks. Eternal Masters up $1.75 to $24.94. Urza Saga goes up $3.95 to $28. Guy's Cradle on the reserve list that did get one more printing though as a judge foil before they close that loophole. And it's not going up a lot percentage wise, up $4 to $7.60. But I did want to show you that it looks like maybe it's stabilizing around this price point, which does feel a little high to me, but I guess we'll see what happens. This did lose some value after the really high price point it hit not too long ago. This is a great commander card in a lot of builds if you're lucky to have one. Legacy, it sees playing elves and more, even gets a little vintage play too. Sands of Time, maybe a buyout, maybe more of a panic buy. It's another reserve list card that has been drying up recently, but it does see some commander play. It goes up 479 to 888. Another jumpstart card, Bruvac the Grandiloquence, very popular commander right now. It goes up 482 to 4883. Also, this does see play in a lot of other builds, and you might even want to throw it in a Anawan the Rune Thief build pretty soon. Sliver Queen. Here's the Sliver Lord that's on the reserve list going up 562 to 24618. Lotus Vale, another reserve list card that could help you juggle some of your lands for landfall triggers. It goes up 752 this week to 3752. Fine Glaciers is on the reserve list, but it did get a printing as a Judge Foil again before they closed the loophole. It goes up 779 this week to 2999. And this is another card being pushed by Zendikar Rising's Land Matters theme. Here's a reserve list card that sees a good amount of play in Commander, Volrath Stronghold. It goes up 1268 this week to 9945. Now, here's a reserve list card that's moving, even though it doesn't see a ton of play in Commander. It sees a little bit. It's Baron Sengir. And this is moving probably more because of nostalgia. In reality, it's probably a buyout at this point. It goes up 1744 to 2788. But we did see there is a new Baron Sengir coming in Commander Legends. That's Sengir the Dark Baron. 
Norwood Priestess, another card that's getting harder and harder to find all the time in good condition. It was recently bought out, and then it started to creep back down again. This week, however, it goes back up 2245 to 12495. Survival of the Fittest from Exodus on the reserve list, but it did get a printing as a Judge Foil. It goes up 3699 to 26999. And this does see Commander play in a variety of different builds. It's time for the premium spotlight. And if you watch these videos, you know I don't like to spend too much time talking about the rare foils, the rare promos, because if you don't have a lot of sales online in any given week, you don't always get very good data. In worst case scenario, that data can be manipulated. There is a lot of market manipulation going on right now when it comes to rare cards. With that being said, though, I still like to pick out a few cards every week that feel like they're moving naturally with the market. All these are cards we talked about previously in the video. Flagstones of Trocare. These foils have a lot of room to grow because the card just started spiking recently. Check out the Ultimate Masters foil price. That one is lagging behind right now. You might be able to find a deal. But it goes up 397 to 1288. Time Spiral foil up 521 to 2999. The foil copy of Recross the Paths goes up 1499 to 1999. And finally, Elder Gargaroth, and because it is a newer card, it's got a ton of variations to look at. The extended art non-foil copy goes up 360 to 2199. The regular foil goes up 401 to 20 dollars. The pre-release foil goes up 452 to 1996. The Corset 2021 promo pack non-foil copy goes up 473 to 1860. The extended art foil copy goes up 1281 to 4517. And finally, the Corset 2021 promo pack foil copy goes up 1518 to 3347. That does it for this week's edition of the Market Watch. Thanks for sticking with me. I appreciate all of you. I hope you're staying safe out there. As always, thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe and have a great day. Hey, thanks for watching. This video is made possible through the generous support of viewers like you on Patreon. Check out the description below for links to our Patreon page as well as our Amazon affiliate store where a small percentage of all sales will also help support the channel. Finally, if you haven't had a chance yet to subscribe, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the new videos on Heroes and Legends. Talk to you again soon and have a great day.